Good morning, folks. Good morning. I'm Dale Morris, and from up in Elk Creek, Virginia, near Galax, Virginia. It's always a pleasure to be down here helping build parking with Jason and Christopher and Scott and all the parking gang and staff. It's just a great festival we have every year. And uh, I know you would look forward to coming like I do, and it uh, breaks up the winter. And we're going to start today's activities with a fine traditional bluegrass band from just south of us here down in uh, upstate North, South Carolina. And I know this little player who's been hitting over there. Known him for years and uh, plays a little old time, plays a little bluegrass blue music, but these guys are great. They do traditional bluegrass. Uh, Mr. Snyder over here has been with the band since the beginning, and of course they've got a few new members in their 20 year existence. So they're going to play us some great music as the folks fill on in, get us started on the right foot. How about a good hand for Last Road?
Yeah.
Yeah, you can break like him, you can get a like that. Anyway, he, uh, he is formerly with the group uh, Most Wanted, which I think y'all played up here sometimes, didn't you? Yep. And uh, so we're glad to have him pick it for just a little while with us. He's going to be moving on as soon as he gets out of school. He has been accepted to be, I don't know if it's the first banjo player, to be accepted in West Point. But yes, West Point. Isaac Farrell, he's in West Point. First banjo player, he's going, to, he's going to start a bluegrass band as soon as he gets up there. So we'll have the West Point pickers. <laughs> fellow back here on the field will do a good job on uh, either tenor vocals or baritone vocals. We haven't got him singing any lead vocals yet, and I don't know why. But he's playing some good lead fiddle, and, and I enjoy that because I've never had a fiddle play in the band. It's, uh, it's awesome picking with him and singing with him, and uh, we have a good time. He grows a great beard, folks. And look at that hair. Not a one out of place. But he's from down in Illinois, South Carolina. It's just right outskirts of Pumpkin Town. Josh Johnson on the fiddle. Fine little man here on the guitar doing a lot of our lead vocals, and he's uh, he and I actually came from the same little town down in South Carolina called Liberty. We were both uh, both raised there, but uh, I was raised there about 30 years before he was, so that's a little different. We didn't know each other for a long time. He moved to Easley, and I moved to Easley, and so now we're pretty much neighbors. And somehow we ended up picking together, I guess by the grace of God, he, he put us together. But uh, uh, love this fellow here. And his family, they always go with us everywhere we go. But he's, uh, he's a great singer and guitar player, and just an all around fine guy right here. Mr. Chad Simpson on the guitar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is a pleasure to be here. As Dale already said, this guy right here on the man, I mean, he's no stranger to the bluegrass circuit around these parts. If you don't see him on this side of the soundboard, you usually see him on the other side. He runs sound for a lot of festivals. And uh, he's had this band a long time, and I've always admired Dave, not only as a musician, but even more so as an individual. And I appreciate and love him for what he stands for. And I never thought I'd get the chance to be in this band, but it's been a, been a pleasure over the last couple of years uh, sharing the stage, going up down the roads and playing music with this guy right here. He's my friend and yours and one of the best you'll ever find. That's Dave Snyder right there on the back. We're going to turn it back over to right here that you hear, hear played a whole lot more than you hear some, but uh, Dave does a good job on it. It's, a, it's an old uh, old standard, I guess you would say, but uh, we, we kind of brought it back out and uh, thought we'd try it on you today. And uh, here's one that's, uh, like I say, it's got words to it. I didn't know that for a long time, but Dave knows it. It's one called John Hart.
here listening to Last Road. We do appreciate it. Check us out on the Wild World of Web. <laughs> We're all over the place. We do have a website, lastroadbluegrass.com. We're all over Facebook. I think we've got six band pages, <laughs> three pages individually. So uh, <laughs> he's bound to find us somewhere on oh, Facebook. Yeah, anybody from uh, this area? Okay, we've got a few local folks. Uh, we're going to be over at Catfish Creek, the other side of Yonder. <laughs> the other side of uh, Avar? What is where it is? We're going to be at Catfish Creek Community Center next Saturday night. So, uh, I mean, anytime we can go uphill, we're doing good, Chad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it's uphill. <laughs> we, we have played over there a couple of times and uh, not always had big crowds, but we've always had just a great time. So it's a, it's a fun little uh, old timey building to go to and, uh, and we'll have a good time. And it won't cost you a whole lot to eat, you can eat before you come or get a buy us food on the way home. Candy bar. Yeah, or buy us food on the way home. <laughs> well, we'll be down at the uh, sunken lobby, I think we'll be around there uh, around 12 o'clock, then 9 o'clock tonight. And, uh, and then after us this evening, it's going to be band fixing to hear right here. That's Carolina Blue, some of our best buddies in the world. And uh, y'all in for a full day of good music. Thank y'all again for coming out and spending the morning with us. Thanks to Ironside Leatherworks, Lakota Leather Straps, uh, Snyder Sound Service, Little Debbie, and uh, <laughs> anybody else that will help us out. God bless y'all. We're going to get out of here with one I got a White Rice and Santa Cruz CD, one called Picture in a Tear. <laughs> Thank you. 